In this paper, we looked at the validity and the evidence for the benediction sign for high median nerve palsy. The background is to understand that the all muscles in the forearm are supplied by the median nerve except the flexor carpi ulnaris and the flexor digitorum profundus to the ring and little finger. And based on this, a high median nerve palsy will result in the paralysis, the flexor pollicis longus, and the FDP to the index and middle finger. And therefore, when the patient is asked to make a fist, you have the classical benediction sign. This is a retrospective observational study on four patients that had proven high median nerve palsy, but however, they did not uh, show any of these classical signs of the benediction sign and we explain in this paper the basis for the non-presence of this benediction signs. These are the images of the patients with this high median nerve palsy who shows that the index finger still is flexed at the metacarpal phalangeal joint and this is due to the innervation of the interosseous muscles by the ulna nerve and the thumb is still abducted at the carpal metacarpal joint and this is partly also due to ulnar innervation and the middle finger is flexed because of the dual innervation uh, that can be seen in the FDP. These observations in this paper shows that the benediction sign is not totally a reliable sign to base a diagnosis of high median nerve lesion. It requires a thorough examination to make sure uh, it aligns itself to the anatomy of the forearm and hand musculature and nerves. So the claw hand is a result of the loss of intrinsic action on the metacarpal phalangeal joint with the imbalance producing a hyperextension in the metacarpal phalangeal joint and the Deformity is made worse in the presence of the FDP and the FDS imbalance uh, at the PIP and DIP joint. So it's also important to realize that there is a possibility that in the presence of interconnections between the median and ulnar nerve, as in, for example, the Martin Gruber anastomosis, can produce challenges to the various uh, diagnoses of nerve lesions. We hope that this paper gives some light onto the reliability of the benediction sign.